All right, hello and welcome. Um, this will be like an introduction video to like a video series I will be doing. Um, the video series will be about overdrive pedals and uh, we guitar players are mostly obsessed with them. We like to nerd about like what versions are the best for what thing. And um, there are many myths. There are many like sought after pedals. Uh, there are many like workhouse pedals that, that often get overlooked. And um, this will be a series for science, basically. If you see this, you will know what I mean. Holy shit. Uh, it's so heavy, but I'm trying to show it off. This is a pedal board with 26 overdrive pedals from various known to lesser known to sought after to often used overdrive circuits. Uh, these are like very high quality clones from a friend of mine called Brema Klang, and um, there's also a buffer just to <laughs> like uh, mitigate the signal loss from all of these pedals and all of the, these cables. And the, uh, the 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 interesting thing about these is I don't know which are which. Um, these are all just numbered. Uh, there's just one person on planet Earth right now who knows what's inside each of the pedals. And this will be like a test for me and for my home setup personally. I will try all of these um, and try to see what works best for me. And I, there will be no bias at all. I mean, I can like, if you know the, the layout from some of the pedals, um, you could guess them, but that's not what it's about. It's about actually listening. It's about actually playing it with your own setup and seeing what works for you without buying into any hype or without buying into anything you, you would usually be distracted by as a guitar player, which we all do. Like, you're watching this channel, you're watching YouTube videos, you're watching uh, um, test demos of stuff you're interested in and you would like to buy. This is like the ultimate blindfold challenge, but without the blindfold, effectively. So I'm very hyped, I'm very excited to try this out. This is like a huge project for me. And... Um, this is not like super scientific what I'm doing. I'm just trying to find a way to make each pedal work with my setup. And obviously I will try to find pedals that work better than others. And that's what, what it's all about. So, will there be a reveal? Well, it's not yet clear. Uh, officially, um, from, from Lars who builds these things, um, he would prefer them to be anonymous. And I can relate why. I can see that. Um, it's more interesting this way because... Once you say, oh, this is a clone and this is like a tube stream or something, the bias, the bias will return and you will be like, yeah, of course the clone sounded better than the tube screamer in this setting and, and stuff. And we will remove that completely. So stay tuned for all the videos. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for the memes. Uh, this is it. This is like... This is my board now. <laughs> so yeah, see you sometime again. Rock on. All right, hello. Welcome to the Ultimate Overdrive Challenge. Today I will play the first one. The buffer will be always on. I will play my A string because that's what I use. Uh, have fun. <laughs> this is clean. And now I'm going to switch. <laughs> A strong contender, let's uh, turn up the gain a little, see where this, where this will go. Thank you. 
Alright, let's reduce the gain a little and play with the tone a little. There's also a dip switch, uh, a toggle switch, let's check that one. Quick review of this one. Uh, number one, it's very A-string usable. I like the uh, crunch on the low notes. Um, it does feel very like, well, like it would, like I would use it as a low gain overdrive. I don't like the gain being turned on too much. Um, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds fantastic. And the the toggle switch just added a little bit more bass. Um, and a little bit more headroom at, at the same time. I don't know if I would need it, but um, yeah, sounds awesome. See you in the next one. All right, welcome back to the ultimate overdrive overload today, number two. <laughs> Let's go. Clean. <laughs> Overdrive number two. What do I like about it? It sounds very open. It does have like a very, it feels like a very tiny amount of clean blend. Um, again, it's like an overdrive that sounded for me better when I turned the gain full up and with the tone a little more down. 
Um, but I would use it more like as a low gain overdrive again. I mean, these are all overdrive pedals, um, but I like how this one reacted with my eight string as well. It wasn't as like brilliant as the one before, but I don't know. We will see what lies ahead. So yeah, see you to the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate overdrive overload uh, number three. Let's check it. Clean. <laughs> This was number three. What do I think about it? It sounded a little more hairy than the other ones. <laughs> I like that it sounds better when you turn the gain more up. Uh, it sounds okay if you have it like low gainish, um, pretty pre um, the, the tone knob is very interesting. Like if you turn it way up, it, it opens up the sound. It doesn't get harsh too much. I feel like, um, yeah, definitely more distortiony than the other ones before. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload number four. Clean. <laughs> Thank you. 
Number four, what do I think about this one? It sounds a little more bluesy, a little more woolly. I like that. It feels like like a lead sound, more or less. Uh, I don't know, because I'm not used to playing like this sort of sound. Um, it surprisingly translates well to the low notes with the 8-string, but it's not like as percussive or anything. But um, with the toggle switch up, it definitely had more gain, and it was more like more, more of what I was looking for. Very rock and roll too, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. Number five. Let's uh, don't play the mambo. Mike Clean Sound. What did I think about number five? Uh, there was like a toggle switch called uh, color, and in the up position I preferred the um, the the low gain ish sounds more. In the down position it felt more compressed. I preferred the um, preferred the high gain sounds more. Um, it does sound very eighties in a way, very like I use this term a lot, rock and roll. But um, it really makes you play this kind of stuff um, if you just improvise. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload, number six. Uh, this is clean. Yeah. 
number six. What do you think about this one? It sounds very royal. Uh, I like the grittiness of it. It's very um, has like a very musical grit to it. This is not piercing or anything. Uh, I love it as a boost. I love it as a like a um, low gain overdrive. Once again, but uh, it sounds pretty good if you turn it on high gain. I feel like it would be pretty great stacking this one. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. Number seven. Let's go. Number seven, what do you guys think about this one? I like this one. It sounds a little hi-fi to me, like um, pushing the compression toggle switch up made it like clip a little and like um, gate a little if you turn the gain up. I like that. I didn't expect that. <laughs> but it's fun. See you in the next one. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight. Uh, this one reminds me a lot of South Park. I don't know why, but uh, I really like with this one. It's like, like the the bass sound for like a slightly dirty overdrive that doesn't have like too much meta, that doesn't have like too much bass. Even if you can dial it in, um, you can uh, regulate the compression and the distortion type with the uh, toggle switches just a little. Um, I, I tended to set it up like. In a way that 
it sounds more open because that's how I like to use it. And it's very A string friendly. I like how it handles the low notes, um, stays crispy. So yeah, tell me guys what you think. Uh, see you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Number nine, Ultimate Overdrive Overload. Let's go. Number nine, tell me what you guys think. I thought it was very comparable to number eight. Uh, a little more meaty, but a little tougher to control. Um, very similar, though. Very, like, very, very, um, very even sounding, um, even with, with all the customization options. Uh, there's a bias control somewhat. It's called <laughs> presence, not bias, but um, it kind of. Uh, Change the, the the feel a little, like it, it feels more hairy if you turn it up. <laughs> I guess that's what the trouble or presence control does. But yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. Number ten. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Schmidt. Number 10, what do I think about this one? It's very versatile, like the clipping modes are so different, like the gain structure changes completely. Um, in the middle it felt more like a very good um, low gain overdrive slash boost. Um, I liked the first sound I got of it. Uh, then I had to like fiddle around a little, I, I, I didn't take much time to be honest, but uh, in the end I found like a very good high gain sound which I liked as well. Um, so if you take like a couple of seconds more than me, You'll probably find some very good sounds in this one. Very versatile. See you in the next one. Alright, welcome back. Number 11, let's go. I'll turn it off first, right? What do you think about number 11? It sounds very familiar to me, uh, I must admit. Um, what I like about this one is it, it feels like it has like a nice mid hump and that translates very well to like the low strings. Uh, I feel like they don't get too goofy or too muddy or anything. Um, but it's still like a rounded, overdriven sound that I enjoy. Uh, if you turn down the treble and the bass completely, you can get like a very, very mid humpy overdrive as well. Um, it doesn't you don't, you don't need too much gain and you don't need too little, it just has like a sweet spot in the middle and that's what I like about this. So yeah, see you in the next one, tell me what you guys think. Alright, welcome back, Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 12. <laughs> Bye. 
Number 12, what do I think about this one? It sounds very amp in a boxy, and I like that. It sounds more like British type of amps. Um, I like the high gain sound. I like when you uh, push the toggle switch that it changes the dy dynamic di very much. Um, the one felt more open, and the one, the other one felt more compressed. Both are very usable. Uh, the low gain sound had like some issues for my taste personally, but it works really well. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. Number 13, we are now. Right? Yeah. Number 13, tell me what you think. I felt like it had one good sound, but many knobs, <laughs> so this is a little distracting. Um, I didn't like the high gain sound as much, but uh, that's like my personal taste, um, because I was so overwhelmed by this like crystal clear, like low gain overdrive that, that sounded really, really good. Um, tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 14. Let's go. Thank you. 
right, number 14. Tell me what you guys think. I thought this one was very, like, uh, confusing. <laughs> but in a good way. It was like, it felt like there was two overdrives almost in parallel. Like, it felt like two different gain structures at once. Uh, maybe it's just, like, a clean blend or anything. Um, but the, um, there's, like, a tone sweep, and there's three modes, and they sound so, so different. It's, it's like, really, like, an EQ pedal almost. Um, very, very interesting. Um, maybe, like, in combination with another overdrive, it's, it's very good. Uh, on its own, I had some trouble finding a sound I liked. Uh, so, yeah. See you in the next one. Welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 15. Let's go. <laughs> Number 15! Sounds like an amazing distortion pedal. Like, um, very mighty sounding, mighty feeling. Um, I, I felt like I, I found one sound and I was pretty content with this one. And if, if I just moved it slightly, it just wasn't as good as this one sound this pedal has. But, um, yeah, very nice distortion pedal. Um, below gain worked as well, but that's not its power, I guess. See you in the next one! All right, welcome back. Number 16, Ultimate Overdrive Overload. Let's go. <laughs> All right, 
Right, number 16. What do you think about this one? It sounds very voxy and very boxy at the same time. It has like an interesting mid-range, but it's like you can't you can edit it out. It's, it's always there. And um, it doesn't feel like a tube screen. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, yeah, definitely something else. Something, something of its own. Tell me what you think. See you next time. Number 17, let's go! <laughs> Alright, number 17. Sometimes two notes is all you need. Um, there's no like tone knob or anything, um, but I felt like it never sounded off or harsh or anything. It's very well balanced. I like that the low gain sounds are very, very usable and the high gain sounds are very interesting. Um, yeah, it's just a very flexible pedal, very um, classic distortion, probably. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, for the low, low notes, it's, it's probably not for me, but... Welcome back! Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 18, let's go! <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, number 18. What do you think about this one? It sounds very preampy, but in a very good way. It's it's like you can turn the game up and it's fun and it's like a great distortion pedal. Um but but it lives like in this mid-gain territory like like an overdriven amp uh, kind of sound. Um I, I could dial in a tone that works really well with the 8 string, but if I had six, 6 strings, I would like just turn up the bass just a little, have more fun with it. Um, yeah, very flexible pedal, very usable pedal. See you in the next one. Alright, welcome back, Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 19. Let's go. <laughs> Number 19, what do I think? It's a very good, like, fast feeling uh, mid to low gain overdrive. You can turn it up, but it feels more like it's it's kind of, um, well, overly distorting in a way that's not so pleasant. But if you have it, like, very low gain, you turn the uh, tone up. For me personally, it works like this. It's, it's It sounds very, like, quick and very stackable. Um, yeah, very even. But it has like a nice, nice, nice peak to it, which I really like. And if you if you dig in, it feels really, really precise. Um, tell me what you think. See you in the next one. Number twenty, ultimate overdrive overload. Let's go. <laughs>
right, number 20. Tell me what you guys think. This one is like it's like three overdrives in one because of the like toggle switch with the three modes. They react so differently. Uh, like the game structure in the middle position is like very low game but very mid focused, very punchy. If you go um, down or up, you have way more gain. Uh, you can turn the gain way more up. And well, in the up position, I felt like I had some some Van Halen thing going on. In the down position, I felt like it's more even more compressed. So very interesting pedal. Uh, might take some while to to get like the sound you need, but. Uh, I, I, I assume you could find it. So yeah, in the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload number 21. Let's go. <laughs> number 21 tell me what you think i like this one <laughs> like there's like a toggle switch and it adds like a little more gain and compression um and a little more ag aggression as well um but it feels like it has like a sweet spot for me like in the upper upper mid range of the gain um like low gain it was nice but it was a little too clean for me um and it starts to like really Really be uh, really be like a fun pedal if you if you dig in and if you, you hear that smack <laughs> you know what I mean. Tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one. Welcome back, number twenty two, Ultimate Overdrive Overload. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, number 22. This one feels very like, like a little like a mixing desk maybe. Um, it's very bright, but that's very nice because it's not too piercing or too shrill. And uh, you, you get like the nice nice edge, like the nice attack if you if you dig in. Uh, the two modes from the toggle switch are very, very different once again. Um, the one felt more like distorted and raw, and but you couldn't turn like the tone to a degree where it like gets bassy again. It's just always drill. And the other side was more balanced. You could play like a um, low gain sound. I like these two sounds, like the the low gain sound from the one position and the high gain sound from the other position. But very interesting. See you in the next one. All right, welcome back, Ultimate Overdrive Overlook number twenty three. Let's go. <laughs> Right, number 23. Ah, this one feels very classic as well. Like um the toggle switch has very different modes. The one was very, very, very clean. Like even with the gain turned all the way up. Um in the other position it was very, very quiet. <laughs> it was kind of nearly unusable, but in the position it's in, in right now, you have like best of the both. Um and this is why I think personally it sounds the best. Um I tend to play like very 90s kind of stuff if I hear this kind of sound. Um, tell me what you guys think. Did you like it? See you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Ultimate Overdrive Overload. Let's go. Number 24. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, number 24. Uh, four? Four. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about this one. I had a little trouble finding like a sound that I would personally use. Um, that doesn't mean it's a bad pedal. I um, I was pretty intrigued. Like the um, the toggle switch in the middle position was so bright, but it was still usable. It was like a, like a kind of radio sound. And in the other two positions, it was like very punk rock in a way, uh, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me what you think about this one. See you in the next one. Number 25, let's go. Number 25, tell me what you think. Uh, this was a very versatile overdrive that I would probably need to spend like one more hour with. Um, it's, it's, it has very different sounds that, that can be very very pointy in a way that I very much enjoy. Um, there was one toggle switch for different gain stages or compression uh, levels, and the other one was very much uh, like, like, like a, a frequency um, curve thing like the like the um position down was very mid heavy but i enjoyed this like it was very very crunchy and the other ones were pretty open or pretty bassy so very very versatile pedal no idea what it is maybe you can tell me see you in the next one all right welcome back uh ultimate overdrive overload number 26 let's go <laughs> Thank you. 
right, number 26, a very versatile distortion pedal, I would say. There are light over overdrive sounds inside that are workable for me. Uh, they even like have like a very crisp high end that works with the low end. Um, but I feel like it shines if you turn up the gain and the uh, the toggle switch has like very very different um, frequency like peaks and um, I, I think I like the one on the top the most like my personal taste of mid range but yeah that's it thank you very much tell me what you think see you in the review.